our influences and inspiration from multiple areas. One from athletes because we're always trying to make sure that our athletes are performing well on the court and we'll build a product for them to perform well on the court, but actually on their off-court needs as well. So my name is Gentry Humphrey. Um, I'm the business director for Nike Sportswear Basketball and Football. And we're here at Exclu City uh, basically to kind of inform the consumers in Canada, Montreal, Canada for that fact, uh, about what's happening in the sneaker game as it relates to Nike. And uh, talk a little bit about my history with uh, the Jordan brand. We're going to take a look at a few things that, uh, I mean, actually on this wall there's a lot of things that uh, I had a hand in from way back in the day to today. Um, and there's a lot of new things that the company has done that um, I think is just really compelling product. Um, in particular, my group has uh, dropped one of the latest shoes uh, in the Gary Payton Zoom glove. Uh, great shoe for us based on... Uh, an ex-NBA player called me uh, Gary Payton. His nickname was called the Glove. So there you get the uh, shroud or the overlap uh, on the shoe. Interior of the shoe, we did some pretty cool things. We wanted to address performance needs way back in the day. And so we developed this TPU uh, fingers that we call the monkey paw. And it actually acted as a lightweight ankle support for Gary when he was performing on the court. But again, part of uh, the sportswear team's uh, responsibilities are to take shoes like this reintroduce them into the marketplace um, so that consumers have an appreciation for the Nike heritage. So this shoe is uh, based on the last year's NBA All-Star Game. Uh, what we did is we had a, the All-Star Game was held in Houston and Houston is, is known for their space shuttle. So where that, where uh, the famous quote, Houston we have a problem, that's where we got this. So the meteor was known to strike the space shuttle. And so what we did is we took these fragments and use that to represent the meteor striking uh, the space shuttle. So you have this total meteor theme that is applied to the shoe. Glow in the dark outsoles. The shoe itself is um, is uh, a shoe that we reinvented uh, on a Charles Barkley shoe. We took it and we updated it with today's technology, which is called the foam posit. And we provided just a different twist on it. This this I worked on the original version of this shoe. So this is um, actually recently brought out by the Jordan group and so they just came back with a whole new color palette. Uh, some people were calling this the Oreo, just like they were calling this one the Oreo. Um, so reminiscent of Oreo cookies. Um, but in the original phase when we introduced this, we actually did them in team colors that represented the Chicago Bulls. And then we actually put, way back in the day, kind of having some foresight that this shoe was a shoe that was really going to resonate with the kid off the court. It was going to fit into a lifestyle zone. We did a colorway that was white and what we call military blue. And it was basically a lifestyle version. Michael never wore white blue shoes on the court at that time, but we knew that it would work off the court because people were rocking with denim. And so we did athletic colors based on Michael's teams, and then we also tried to be ahead of our time and do some lifestyle colors as well. So the shoe has carried on, you know, ever since then, and way back in 89, 1989, and it lives on today, refreshing it up with colors and materials that work with today's consumer lifestyle. This one was done by Fresh Prince of Jar. Again, this is, uh, I didn't work on this one, but um, the Jordan team did a great job. Obviously, uh, Will Smith, Fresh Prince, was really, really influential back in the day. He rocked the five a ton. And so, the team, I think, and Jordan did a great job and, you know, really kind of tying back to that era where Fresh Prince was into crazy colors, crazy graphics, and brought it into the shoe, just did a nice color up for it. I'm in the office by 5 and I usually leave by 6 in the evening, so 5 in the morning, 6 in the evening. Um, and so my days these days are like, you know, problem solving, strategic planning, thinking, leading the team, things of that nature. Um, I think what's next for me really is just thinking, um, thinking more about like how we do the right thing for our consumers. Not only from a product side, but just how do we do things that are going to really kind of impact the consumer's life. I mean, lately I've been on this, on this, uh, you know, I've started some things on my own, some my own nonprofit organization and uh, foundation, and 
so to me it's about like how do we give back you know how do we give back in, in a more compelling way and I think um, the company has done a lot of things we have this project that we call the girl effect where we work, uh, the company works with uh, girls out of Africa to make their lives better and to kind of present a platform for them to kind of go on uh, in life for the future um, and I, to me it's really about that I mean those are bigger you know, bigger things than life so you know, I think these are great because they're day to day and it's fun. But there are other things in life that, that we can do to kind of improve the life of people.